Hello, my name is Chris. I've worked years to get to this point. To build my reputation. To call myself a photographer. My special skill is framing things we can't see with our own eyes. It's over in a blink of an eye. With an ordinary camera and the iron will to succeed, I will do everything I can to get the perfect picture. So this is my challenge. This is the high speed challenge. What do you think of when you hear cake and chocolate? Espresso? Well, join the club. This is all about coffee beans and shiny surface. Oh boy, I really do like a great coffee. How about you? Well, what I want to do today is I want to shoot coffee beans flying through the air and then hitting a shiny surface near a cup of espresso. No wires, no Photoshop. The real deal. Want to know how to make perfect coffee every time? Stay tuned until the end and I will teach you. Well, everything is set up for the perfect coffee. But the question as always is, will I frame it? Today's setup is a basic one. It consists of a camera, the flashes, and a trigger. We have moving subjects, so what in the physical environment can we use to trigger the flashes? So you can see the laser trap. What it will do is to fire the flashes at the time one or more beans interrupt the laser beam. But that's not all. I can also set the delay time in milliseconds. This means the time interrupting the laser to the time it fires the flashes. As always, I want to block the windows in my studio. The reason is I don't want double exposure in my camera. That could happen if there's another light source other than the flashes. Okay, everything is set. So let's see what happens. Want to make perfect coffee every time? Well, usually I don't make product recommendations, but this time I had to make an exception because I got this for you. Um, basically, it's a Bialetti coffee maker and it's called uh, Bialetti Mocha Express, made in Italy. Um, I have to say though, I'm not sponsored by Bialetti, nor do I get any money from them to present this. It's just the fact that I have like five of these and um, I have five different sizes because um, with this one I can actually make five cups of espresso and it goes all the way down to two cups of espresso for at least two people. Um, so if you want to know how this works stay tuned I'll show you right now.
I do love a great coffee. Did I mention that? Well, if you found that episode somewhat informative and uh, helpful, please leave a thumbs up and thanks for subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next episode of the High Speed Challenge. Chris out.